today I got another Lego Marvel review. Today I'm reviewing the Lego Marvel Thor Ragnarok Ultimate Battle for Asgard. And it comes with 400 pieces and I believe it costs $50 in the US. But let's go and take a look at the minifigures. First up we got an exclusive to the set which is Hela. See she's kind of raised up on this little stand and this stand can make her lean forward like that. But yeah you can just take her off of that. I mean, it's a pretty simple build, just like under 10 pieces. And then here's Hella. You can see she has like an axe over here. Just a regular old axe. And if you wanted to, you could also give her a sword that comes with her. She also has this um, power blast. You know how those work. You press this down and it shoots off. And you can see that beautiful headdress and that nice printing right there. And then she has the self true type of cape. All the minifigures do in this set. There's the back printing. And then this nice rubber hair piece. Oh shoot, hang on. Yeah, I don't really like the rubber hair, rubber things because they're really hard to get off the head of a minifig. Like, they are so hard. Okay, I got it off. There's her face print. And then she's got an alternate one where she's kind of normal. And what you can do is she also comes with a regular hair piece. So if you want to just give her regular hair instead of this beautiful molded rubber mask. I mean, it's just beautiful. But it's really hard to get off. That's Hella. Next up, we have Thor. This one's also exclusive. It looks pretty much the same, but it doesn't have the knee pad like it does in the Arena Clash or the little sword holder piece. You see, he's got kind of like this ripped cape. You remember that from the movie? Comes with two of the blue power blasts because he, remember he lost his hammer and now he's got electricity powers. And then here's the helmet, same one as in the arena clash. Not the special there. And then he's got the lightning eyes on that side and then the regular face on that side. Okay, and then you get two of these guys. These are called the berserkers. And I believe these are supposed to be like the skeleton dead as guardians in the movie. But yeah, they got some pretty cool printing on the front. And, oh shoot. And they got some pretty cool printing on the back too. They also got like this little stinger tail. I don't really know. But you get two of those right here. And then next up we have Valkyrie. Nice front print. No leg printing. She has a little short sword. She comes with taser faces. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. She comes with taser faces um, from Guardians of the Galaxy 2 hair piece to make up her little weird hair. And see, there's her face print. She does not come with adult, another face print. And she has this really weird kind of shaped cape, but it's softer material. There's the back print. And then our last minifigure is Bruce Banner. And yep, there's the front print, pretty basic back print. And then I don't really think this hair piece fits him, but. On the front, you got kind of a smiling face, and on the back, you kind of got like a Hulk hulking out face. I don't even know what you would call that. Hang on, let me try to put this back on real quick. Okay, and now let's get on to the secondary build of this um, set, which is Fenris Wolf. This is Hela's giant pet wolf she raises from the dead whenever she takes over Asgard. He has glow in the dark eyes right here has movable ears and then you can also move his mouth down here if I can yeah, you can open up that if you really wanted to and then he has ball joints at his foot and at his shoulder right here both sides it's actually a pretty fun build and then there's uh, um, at the hip and then at the foot and then he's also got a ball jointed tail right here but this right here is just a hinge up and down but yeah, he's actually really cool. And if you wanted to, like there's some studs up here so you could have Hella ride him like she did inside the flashback scenes. Or that painting on a type of Asgard building. But yeah, it's a pretty fun build. I just wish they did the feet a little different because they're kind of rounded so you can kind of rock back and forth. Because they use the anti-towel on the bottom. So I wish they would have changed that. But the main build of the sets right here, which is the... I forgot the ship's name, but it's the Grandmaster ship in the movie. They steal it from the Grandmaster. I think it's like his party ship or something like that. You see, it's kind of, it kind of looks like a frisbee. 
got stickers on the outside right here. Those ain't too hard to apply if you just have a brick separator. So they go all the way around. Okay, and then right in the middle is the cockpit. All you gotta do is lift that up right there. And then if you want to, you can just... Hang on, I'm trying to get a mini figure over here. Hang on, let me sit y'all down. Okay, so if you wanted to, you can make Valkyrie drive the ship. Just place her down right there. And you have to make her lean back pretty darn far. And hang on, I don't want to mess up her cape. Oh my god, this is so hard one handed. Just put her right in there. And she has to lean back pretty darn far. You can close that. But at the front right here, you got a pretty nice little control panel. Just basic. Okay, and then the main weapons of the ship is. You have these uh, two purple stud shooters on each side, and you can also lift those up if you wanted to, but they look better at angle. And you know how those work, just press that down the shud suit off. I'm not going to do that though. And then back here we have some pretty nice looking little engines. And if you lift up this little part that has a sticker on top of it, just lift that up. Back here's a little storage space, you can put extra studs, or even um, like I did, I put some of Hela's extra little things back here. You can also put Valkyrie's sword back here if you wanted to. A little sword. You put it flat, it fits right in there. And then the main feature of the set, which has to do with Bruce Banner, let me go and grab him real quick, is this little thing right here. So if you flip it up underneath, see that little thing I pressed on top connects with this thing. You see there's two studs right there. So all you need to do is put Bruce Banner right there. You can flip this back over. You see now that thing is up, and all you gotta do is if you're like flying it, you just gotta press that button and Bruce Banner drops out of it. Just like he did in the movie, bro, that he got knocked out after he jumped out. That was a funny part of the movie. But anyway, guys, I like to thank you guys for watching, and um, this is a really good set. If you were thinking about getting this one, definitely get this one, but the arena clash is a whole lot better in my opinion. But I like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.